Hello friends, welcome to the world of Maths by MEA. In this learning concept video, we will see how we merge ratio, get a simple ratio from a common term or common terms. There are mainly two type of merging the ratio or getting the simplest form. One is one term common and another one is more than one term common that is nothing but relation common. In both, we just find what is common and which one is common. And we just equate the common part we just equate the common part either by lcm or by cross multiplying what do we mean by lcm or cross multiplying if we have 2 and 3 and we want to equate so we just cross multiply 3 here and 2 here so this becomes 6 this becomes 6 i hope this one is clear if we have to equate 4 and say 18 how we equate we just cross multiply 18 and 4 that becomes 72 and 72 or we take LCM of 4 and 18 that is nothing but 36 we multiply 9 and by 2 and becomes 36 so either cross multiply or take LCM of both and equate to that LCM we are doing nothing but the same we are equating terms let's start with examples first is 2 ratio and 1 common terms. We are dealing with 2 ratios and 1 common term. In this both have B. We just cross multiply B. B is 4 so that is 4 by 4. B is 3 so that is nothing but 3 by 3. So the ratio of A is to B that is the simplest ratio. A becomes 8. B becomes 12. Both are the 12. And C becomes 15. Means we check at which value of b both ratios are same means equating the common terms i am again repeating if a by b is equal to 3 by 5 and b by c is equal to 7 by 9 then what is the simplest form of a is to b is to c that is b is 5 b is 7 cross multiply that is 7 7 and 5 5 so we can say a is 21 b is 35 and c is 9 5 is 45 this is our simplest form of these two ratio let's solve a question now question is if a by b is 2 upon 3 b upon c is 4 by 7 then find a square plus b square upon c square plus a square i would say pause the video and solve the question i think you have solved the question we just need to merge the ratio a upon b and b upon c a upon b is 2 by 3 and b upon c is 4 by 7 b is 3 b is 4 so just multiply 4 4 and 3 3 value of b in the first ratio value of b in the second ratio that becomes a is to b is to c from here a becomes 8 from any 2 b becomes 12 from second one c becomes 21 and we need to find a square plus b square just put 8 square plus 12 square just plot the data just put the data of a b c in the given condition that is c square plus a square that is 21 square plus 8 square we solve the value and get the answer how i am able to put the values directly we can say the numbers are nothing but 8x 12x 21x so we can say it is nothing but 8x square a square plus b square plus 12x square plus c square is 21x square plus a square is 8x square in this all we can take out x square as a common and cancel out so we get this one now can we solve a square plus b square plus c square upon 2abc from the given value no answer should be cannot be determined for getting a ratio from another ratio the most important thing is the degree of all terms should be same here the degree is 2 degree is 2 degree is 2 the degree is 1 1 1 and multiplication so degree of this term is 3 if we have different degrees in different terms then answer of that question should be cannot be determined so this is our next learning if we have ratio and we are looking for another ratio so degree of the condition should be same otherwise we need to have some extra condition i hope it is clear now for the better understanding let's solve another question now you have two questions in front of you i would suggest pause the video and solve the question 
I hope you have solved the question. The question number 2 is quite easy. We have ratio and we need to find another ratio that is a square plus c upon 2bc. The degree of a square is 2, c is degree 1, 2bc has degree 2. Here the degree 2, degree 2 but degree has 1. Terms has not the same degree so answer is cannot be determined. Now question number first we have a by b is 3 by 5, b by c is 2 by 3, b is 5, b is 2. So just cross multiply 2, 2 and 5, 5. A, B, C. A becomes 6, B becomes 10, C becomes 15. And we want A square plus C square, that is 6 square plus 15 square. And 2 into AC, 2 into 6 into 15 minus 10 square. That is 36 plus 225 upon 180 minus 100. This is nothing but 261 upon 80. So our required answer is 261 upon 80. I hope this one is clear to you. Okay, okay. we have seen in which one common term but has two ratios. Now we have three ratios and common terms is single. So we work on first two ratio as we have worked. B is 2, B is 3. So we multiply 3, 3 and 2, 2. 2 comes in second, 3 comes in the first. Now we have C and C. Here the C comes 8. Here the C is 5. So 8 in the third ratio and the 5 in the second ratio but we multiplied 5 in C due to ratio it is also multiplied in B B becomes 3 into 2 into 5 here the B is 2 into 3 so we reverse multiply 5 and 5 so our ratio becomes A is to B is to C is to D A becomes 15 B becomes 30 C becomes 40 and D becomes 48 so this is our ratio by merging all the data. I am again repeating first work on these two 2 2 3 3 then work on C and C C was 8 so we multiplied 8 and 5 but when we multiply 5 means when we are going back we have to work on both the ratio because we are changing the value of B so we have to change the value of B here also I hope it is clear now check another example now we have another example A by B B by C D by A we merge b in first and second ratio b is 3 b is 2 that is nothing but 2 2 and 3 3 here d by a and a common is a so we need to work on a a is 4 a is 5 so first multiply 4 4 and this 5 in the previous two ratio why previous two ratio because we multiplied here a becomes 20 but it also changed b which was 6 converted into 30 so we need to change B here also. So when you are moving forward, just move forward. But when you are going back, apply in all the ratios. I'm again repeating. We have A by B, B by C, say D by C is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. How we solve? B is 2, B is 1. So that is nothing but 1, 1. 2 is 2, 2. C becomes 4. C is 3. So 4, 4 and this 3 is in 3 3 and 3 3 so our ratio of this is nothing but a is to b is to c is to d a is nothing but 3 b is nothing but 6 c is nothing but 12 and d is nothing but 4 this is our merge ratio and we can use this ratio in the question if we have only two ratio and single terms just cross multiply if we have three ratios and single terms cross multiply move ahead and goes back i hope this one is clear now, if we have more than three ratios and single common terms, generally we do not use the same concept which we were using. If we have more than three ratios, we directly get the ratio A is to B is to C is to D is to E. We can apply this method in two ratios, three ratios or more than three ratios also. Where A is 1, B is 2, we take first values as it is. A is 1, B is 2. Now we have b is 2, we write b 2, that is 2 by c is equal to 3 by 4 by cross multiplying c becomes 8 by 3. We put 8 by 3 c in a next term, that is nothing but 8 by 3. This becomes d is 5 into 8 by 2, that is 20 by 3. Again we got d is 20 by 3, we put 20 by 3. So by this we can say e is equal to 6 and 20. 3 
that is 40. So this is our ratio or we can say we have fractional value in ratio denominator has 3 and 3 the LCM of 3 and 3 is 3 multiply 3 that is fraction to integral terms that becomes 3 is to 6 is to 8 is to 20 is to 140 is our basic ratio or merge ratio in this case we can apply this in two ratios or three ratios also now, I hope it is clear but for better understanding I am going to repeat the process just take a is 1, B is 2, first ratio as it is, get the value of B2 in the next ratio, find the C, put the C in the next ratio, find the D, put the D in next ratio, find the E and get the value. I hope it is clear. Now solve the last question of this concept video. You have 4 ratios and a question. I would say pause the video and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question. Now check. First of all, we generally merge the values A, B, C, D, E. First ratio as it is. A is 1, B is 2. We just plot B here. That is 8 by 3. C becomes 8 by 3. We put 8 by 3 in the third term. That is 4. D becomes 4 by 3. And 4 by 3 in the last E becomes 1. This is a fractional form of ratio. The LCM of denominator is 3 and 3 is 3. So we just multiply 3 in the numerator to make it integers so that we can solve quotient easily. That is 3, 6, 3, 3 cancel out 8, cancel out 4, that is 3. This is our ratio. After merging all the values, we are looking for a square, that is 3 square, plus c square, plus e square, that is 8 square, plus 3 square upon we are looking for b square that is 6 square plus d square is 4 square that is nothing but 9 plus 64 plus 9 upon 36 plus 16 this is nothing but 82 upon 52 and by solving we will get 41 upon 26 so our answer of this question is 41 upon 26 i hope this concept video is clear to you if we have only two ratios, we just cross multiply the values and get the ratio and solve the question. If we have three values, we can either solve by this method or we just cross multiply first two, cross multiply second two and we are just reverse with the last variable. But working on this concept in more than three variables would be a tougher task. So we take A upon B is 1, 2 and move on. I hope this one is clear to you. But even if you have any doubt, I will say ping me either on this video thread or on Facebook. Thank you and happy learning.